Hello folks, my name is Jacob Polger, or the sculptor, and today I'm going to be working on a mixed media piece. Earlier today, I sculpted this little uh, Zen cat, and I want to create a scene for him, uh, for the artwork that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to paint a scene. And then I'm going to, through uh, processes mostly on the computer, I'm going to create uh, an art piece with him and the painting. So I'm just going to show you what I do and, and we'll go from there. So uh, we're going to be working on watercolor paper, which I really love painting on. It's 140 pounds. Has a nice, uh, nice texture and it's just a lovely medium, uh, thing to work on. Uh, the colors that I'll be working in will be, uh, Utrecht Studio Silk Series Acrylic in bright aqua green, Cerulean Blue, Pacero Blue, and brilliant purple and I may do some other things as well. Okay, so now I have put my colors. I often use watercolor paper for my palette. Um, so I've got the colors right here, here and here. And working from those colors, I'm going to paint I'm going to use a water bottle and just wet it a little bit. The paper will curl, but then it will settle in after a bit. So I'm going to just start putting my color on the paper and my main objective at this point is to just cover the paper. So that's the main, the main thing was just to get it covered. Now I'm going to just uh, smooth it out a little bit. And uh, start mixing in some other paints uh, to kind of create, I'm trying to create a bit of a sky look. And uh, this uh, kind of relaxing and having fun with it. Um, and not letting uh, any outside pressures get on my mind and just relax and make a pretty scene. I want it to be kind of dreamy. So I think that kind of, I got that, I achieved that pretty well with the colors I've got. And now I'm going to wait a few minutes and let that dry. Okay, next I'm going to be using uh, GAC 100 made by Dolben. You can also use varnish or anything that dries clear. And I'm going to be using Pearl X pigments in antique bronze. And I put that in a lid so I have easy access to it. I'm just uh, going to use that this lid here and put a little bit of um, the GAC 100 in it 
I have a small brush. I'm going to get it wet with the GAC 100 and dip it into the bronze. Then I'm going to pat it on the table just to get it subdued and I'm going to paint it on my watercolor paper. A nice flows really easy over the canvas. So a very pretty bronze finish. Every couple seconds I'm dipping into the GAC 100 and then into the bronze and then onto the paper. Okay, I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit more DSC 100 on there. Smooth flowing lines. Okay, that's good. We'll let that dry and come back. Okay, we're gonna get started again. I have added white, bright white to my palette. And I have a smaller brush this time. Now I want him, my meditating cat, to be sitting right in here. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how I do this. And I hope it works out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some paint from the white in my bus and I'm going to dab it kind of here. Which what, is what I call relaxing the paint. But I want my brush to be pretty full of paint at this point. And with a very light touch, I'm going to create a moon. I want it just to be kind of subdued. And a simple uh, moon. Something like that will do. And then uh, get some more paint. And I'm going to put in a tree. Very relaxed, right? Light strokes. Nothing bothering me. I'm here just to enjoy myself on this fine day after Christmas 2020.
So this is definitely an abstract piece. And that is just fine with me because I love abstract art for sure. Just kind of relaxing here, making my art. I'm going to pick up a little bit of blue and just uh, go through here and add some of that. Okay, so that's going to be about it for this, and uh, I will share with you uh, as I work on this piece, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more for you soon. If you look in the video description, you will see uh, a video there. Um, on how to make beautiful art with a computer. And uh, so take a look at that. Um, it will show you how I was able to do this. Um, so uh, definitely look at that. If you're, you can do this with any kind of object uh, or yourself or a friend. You can put a picture of your friend in the tree or whatever you happen to paint. You could uh, Put anything that you learn how to make on my channel or anywhere else for that matter. It's just a, it, it's wide open. It, 
the sky's the limit with this. It's amazing. And you can see the art pieces are quite beautiful. Uh, so check that out. And, uh, and I hope that you will have some fun with it. And if you, if you want, I mean, some people might like to sell their art. Uh, you'll be able to make prints and print on a variety of objects like uh, towels and blankets and pillows and whatever. I mean, you can print on anything these days. It's really amazing. So um, I hope you got something out of this. Um, please give the video a like. Share it with your friends and family. Leave me a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel for more art tutorials. Thanks so much and have a great day.